people have been loving your tips on various exercises. Ah. So, when using a leg press, yes. Can you give them a bit of a few pointers on it? If you just jump on and show us where to. People say you know feed in close in close out, but I just do it just for a different feel half the time. Not that you know sometimes people say your feet together works the outer more or whatever, but like you know some people say feet closer together works more here wider there but yeah i just sometimes i generally always keep them there but just for a change i might bring them close and do reps where i'm only from here and don't lock them out just to really burn them with the feet close together yep you do get a different feel in the quads and then if you want to do hamstrings like leg curl i put my feet out like that and turn them in and come down like that it gets all in here yep it's a good superset so you do like your leg curls 15 reps whatever nice and strict then come over hop on this and just keep in there don't lock them out just so you're really squeezing the hamstring in there would you mind if matt just quickly <laughs> gave the old um, hamstrings a feel to see if they're getting the <laughs> right tension so that's really about it like i said people you know, then some people say push with your heels more. Like Rich Gaspari, good one, is like when you're doing them, when you go up, just come back onto your heels like that. Yep. And tense your quads. You'll notice that really gets in good. So you're just doing your normal leg presses. But each rep, just roll back onto your heel and flex your quad like that. So just taking the ball of your foot off and squeezing your quad. That's really about it. There's nothing too fancy about leg press. And what about weight? Like some people think that the more weight you lift, the bigger your, no. your legs. But I think it's longer to put on and harder to take off. But I've gone up the leg presses where you can put 15 plates on. But generally now I stick between seven or ten each side max. Just go for more reps, really burn them. And I always feel my legs, like when you go on, like I said, when you go on heavy, when you've got a machine load up and someone's sitting on top, your main thing is, because the weight's coming here, you're more like, okay, it's a super heavy weight. You unrack it, the machine's fully loaded, and you're just like, <clears throat> all you're thinking about is pushing the weight up yes. so it doesn't crush you or kill you. If you've got to say seven, eight plates, you can get in position, really focus and come down, focus on it, feel it, go up and squeeze. You, got, you know, you've got that control more and you're thinking about the muscle, and you're thinking about feeling the muscle compared to, oh, I don't want to die, you know. So. And using that technique, say that Rich Gaspari, mm -hmm. you can't lift as much weight if you're doing that. Yeah, reasonable, but like I said, when you roll back on the heels, you just tense them. Yeah. And you feel it more, so. Yeah, legs are one of those things where, yes, you can go heavy if you want, and heavy's okay, but you come to find out, you can just use a good, say you're like 12 was your max. Yeah. You could say stay at 7 and 8 and still get the same results, just by really focusing on the muscle and squeezing it, so. And in the long run, you probably have less knee problems years to come, so. Yeah. Yeah, it's like everyone has to squat heavy. You get on the squat bar and all you're focused on is just nah. not crashing to the ground. You go a bit lighter and then just focus on your quads and the movement, you feel it more.